Awesome. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Lauren and today I'm going to be teaching you the tune Seminole Wind and we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different from previous workshops. I'm going to be showing you how to construct a basic fiddle solo using the melody of Seminole Wind. So we're going to get into all of that in just a minute, but before we do, I'll go ahead and just play the song for you so you have an idea of how it goes if you're unfamiliar and then we will jump in. Seminole Wind, we're in the key of B minor. So before we get into the actual song, let's go ahead and just kick things off with a scale. So we're gonna start on our B on the A string. We're just gonna use do a one octave B minor scale using half notes. And if you're not too familiar with minor keys or B minor specifically, it's the same key signature as D major. So we have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. We're starting and ending on B. So here we go, let's take it from the top. One, two, three, four. All right, very nice. So that is the finger pattern that we're gonna be working with today. So keep that in mind as we're going through. And let's go ahead and just jump into this melody. So as you heard when I played the song just a minute ago, there was a little bit of an intro. And if you're familiar with the song or if you listen to the recording that I sent in the Jam Workshop email, you heard that the fiddle player starts off with an introduction to the tune before jumping in, before all of the instruments come in. And there's piano, of course, before that. But we're going to be starting with the fiddle intro. So it's a little bit more rubato, which just means that we're taking our time it sounds a little bit more improvisatory and it slows down toward the end and then the melody of the verses and the choruses are based on what we hear in the intro so let's go ahead and just jump into this intro I'll go ahead and just play a phrase at a time for you to repeat so here it goes <laughs> go ahead and give that a try all right, so now that we've got the whole melody down, and again, we're gonna be really focusing in on this chorus, I'm gonna show you how to play the chords to go along with the melody. Because if you find yourself in a situation where you're playing with other musicians, whether it's a jam session or a performance of some kind where you're playing in a band or something, you'll have to know the chords so that you can back the other musicians up. And especially if you're in a situation where multiple people are taking solos, and that's something that we're going to be talking about today as we've mentioned with the fiddle solo you'll also have to know how the chord progression goes so we're going to just start with this first chord which is an e minor chord so we've got our e on the d string and then we have a b on the g string so go ahead and find those two notes and play them together all right, so let's go ahead and talk about solos and how we can take this melody of seminal wind and make it a little bit more interesting, maybe turn it into a fiddle solo. So when we are talking about solos, when we create a solo, really all we're doing is taking the melody of a tune and just dressing it up a little, right? We're just adding some things to it. You can still hear the basic melody, you can hear where it fits in, but we're just adding some things to it. It's kind of like creating a little bit of a variation on the melody, right? So let's go ahead and just as an example, let's take these first four measures of the chorus and we're just gonna see how we can maybe turn these into more of a solo. So here is just our basic melody, just as a reminder. So that's just the notes 
the rhythms in the most simple form, nothing added whatsoever. So before I give you any specific instruction on what to do, I would love if you could just take those four measures and see if you can play them in some way that is different from what you see on the page or what you hear me playing. So see if you can just, even if it's just adding a slide or adding a single extra note, see if you can create something different this time, okay? So I'll let you go ahead and play around with that. And I'll just play the melody as is for reference. Okay, so just to wrap things up, I know we're a little bit over time here, but I would love it if we could all just conclude by playing the whole song together. And so we'll start with the intro and then we'll move into the chorus and the chorus is where you're gonna take your solos, okay? So let's go ahead and just start with this intro. And here we go. One, two, ready, and. Nice job. Very good. Yeah, everybody, give yourselves a round of applause. That was great. Yeah, you just learned a whole song and chords on top of that and how to create a solo. That's pretty exciting. Very good, everyone. Well, thank you so much for being here. It was great to see you all and great to see some both old and new faces, people that I haven't seen before. So thank you so much for coming. And we will have a jam workshop next month. The date is gonna be a little bit different. So keep an eye out for that. The next couple of months are gonna be different. It's usually the end of the year with holidays and everything things are, are shuffled around a little bit and then we will not meet in December. So we just have two jam workshops left this year, which is crazy to think about. Um, but thank you all so much for being here again. You know where to find the sheet music if you wanna practice this as well as the chords and all of that. So I hope you enjoy learning Seminole Wind and hopefully you'll get the chance to perform your solos at some point. All right, well, thanks everyone. Have a great night, bye.